Thank you for joining us tonight for another fantastic music in the park with our with Party Gras Classic Jazz Band, hosted by the Windsor Heights Foundation. Our mission is to raise raise funds to develop projects and programs to enhance the life of residents of Windsor Heights and neighboring communities. We appreciate your attendance and donations, which helps make these events possible. Please check out our popcorn stand for information on how you can help fund future events. We want to acknowledge our sponsors, City of Windsor Heights, Bankers Trust, and the Lions Club, who helped make the evening special. Uh, a big thanks to Polk County for supporting our series through Betterment Grants. We'd also ask you to check out our website, windsorheightsfoundation.org. Also, that you'd like us on our Facebook page, and those of you on Facebook know how important it is to get likes. Um, the other nice thing about Facebook is that we can post immediate updates if in case of rain or any other thing. So if you're wondering whether the concert's going on, check our Facebook page. And we're also going to try our hand at Twitter. So if you're on Twitter, um, we'll try to send out updates on that as well. Uh, the raffle prizes tonight are donated by Classic Kids. So without further ado, Party Gras Classic Jazz Band. Four
Party Rock classic jazz band. That was a Dixieland favorite called Indiana. And we play Dixieland jazz, New Orleans jazz. Uh, some might call it traditional jazz, although we kind of play it in a swing style. And we're going to play a little gospel jazz for you because that is one of the types of music that came together to create this great American art form called jazz. This is just a closer walk with A. Thank uh you. -huh. 
Oh, thank you very much. A little gospel jazz with just a closer walk with thee. We're going to play one now. I was picking up the music for tonight, and I saw this tune we hadn't played for a while. The best things in life are free, and I thought, well, this is a free concert, thanks to our good sponsors. At least the City of Windsor Heights, uh, Bankers Trust, the Lions Club, and Polk County through a community betterment grant. So uh, they've made it free to us, so let's uh, play a song that actually lots of people have covered. Perry Como recorded this one, among others. The best things in life are free. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty much. Tag or not tag? We won't do tags. Okay. We're going to uh, slow it down a little bit and do a tune that Big Spiderbeck was associated with. And uh, a, a group like this, we can't really play a concert without playing something from Big Spiderbeck, the great jazz musician, born in Davenport, Iowa, lived a very short life. Uh, but recognized as one of the uh, premier jazz players, certainly of his time, and still a big influence today. And we're going to have our big influence featured on this one, Singing the Blues with Scott Davis on the cornet. Scott's got the first three notes. Okay. Two, three, four.
Sarah. Thank you. Singing the blues. Uh, not only is that a classic piece of vintage jazz, but uh, Scott Davis, our cornet player, well, I was going to say your vintage. I was talking about your horn, actually. So you might, uh, maybe you could tell these nice people about it. I don't think everybody's heard this story. So this, this is a, a cornet from, uh, actually, it's a con cornet, 1895. And it's kind of fun. I started, I got this about 30 years ago. And um, it turns out that approximately 1895 is the first documentation of the concept of jazz in New Orleans. There was a trumpet player named Buddy Bolden who came on the scene and there was documentation about that, about that time of the, um, of the century. He was never recorded, but he was very famous in the New Orleans world. He was kind of like the first guy that really took this, new, this jazz thing up to a new level. So it's kind of fun to play a trumpet that was from his era. So that's that's the story. There's a couple other stories, but I'm not going to share them with the there's children around. <laughs> All right. Well, let's play some big spider Beck. So of course the other great jazz musician of that time was Louis Armstrong, and uh, a longer and more uh, productive life and musical career, uh, and a little bit different style of playing. We're going to play one of his. Uh, tunes from the late 1920s off of a series of records that are very famous in jazz history. They made in Chicago with a group called the Hot Five and also the Hot Seven. Some records that really uh, turned around the course of jazz. Really nothing had been heard like this before. It really showcased Louis Armstrong in a way he hadn't been showcased before. This is Strutton with some barbecue. Greetings. Uh, 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 one, two, one. <laughs>
All right, thank you. Starting with some barbecue. We're going to uh, gentle it down maybe a little bit. We're going to feature our trombone player, Dr. John Benoit, on La Vie and Rose.
baby. All right, so let's uh, introduce these people up here. Uh, you met a couple more already uh, on the trombone from Indianola, John Benoit, Scott Davis on the 1895 cornet tonight, <laughs> on the piano, Jamie Polson. And on the bass uh, from Boone, Rich Beachler. And our drummer is Ben Poppin. <laughs> I'm Dan Stevenson uh, with the Party Crowd Classic Jazz Band. We got a few more tunes to play for you until eight o'clock. The next one we're going to do is another old Dixie standard called Sunday. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sunday. We're going to slow down just a little bit and play uh, have a pretty ballad that's uh, been covered lately by uh, 
nobody other than Paul McCartney uh, on his jazz and flavored uh, CDs that he's been doing recently. And the name of this one is Home. Thank you. 
Thank you. 